Hello, my friends, and welcome to The True. I'm Robert Wallace, and this is the place where we ask, are we choosing the way of Jesus, or are we choosing our own way? Well, today we're going to be looking at the Holy Spirit prayer warrior. Well, what do I mean? Well, let's look again at what Paul says in Romans chapter 8, verse 26. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. Why wordless groans? Because if we're honest with each other, there are times in our life where we do not know what to pray, we don't know where to begin or even how to pray for needs. Whether they're our needs or someone else's, we just, we're at a loss for words. And this is where the Holy Spirit comes in. Let me ask you before we continue, have you ever known a prayer warrior? Have you ever known someone who just seems so connected to God? They seem to pray for long periods of time, and they genuinely ask how people are doing and if they can pray for them, and then they do it. It's not, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'll be in prayer for you, and then they forget. These are people who pray, who know the importance of prayer, and they know that the Holy Spirit is their guide in prayer. The Holy Spirit is here to help each and every one of us to be prayer warriors. And to help us, we have to understand that the reason I say the Holy Spirit's a prayer warrior is because the Holy Spirit helps us in our prayers. And who better to help us than the Holy Spirit who knows exactly what God the Father's will is and what Jesus intends for us as well. So the Holy Spirit being that connected as a part of the Trinity of God knows what we need to be praying for and gives us those nudges and helps us to get clarity. So when we sit and we have nothing to pray, we don't know how to pray or where to start, the Holy Spirit, if we're listening, will help us in our prayer. We need to understand this because the whole goal of Jesus is for you and I to go and make disciples of others, teaching them what Jesus has taught us helping them to understand the value of the Holy Spirit to help us in our prayer lives so that we too can become prayer warriors as we disciple others and pray for others. Now, the other thing we need to understand is that the Holy Spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are God's children and we are able to come to God as Abba Father. Paul writes about this in Romans chapter 8, verses 12 through 17. So in humble boldness, we are able as a child to go to the Father and pray what we need to pray in Jesus' name. And he hears our prayer and the Holy Spirit helps to guide us. So my questions today are these. Do we see how important the Holy Spirit is to our prayer life? He nudges us. He gives us the words to stay. And when we just cannot come up with the words, he groans for us, as Paul says. Do we believe that the Holy Spirit knows the will of God and helps us to pray? We need to believe it. We need to receive this truth. And then do we see that the Holy Spirit's guidance will help us pray rightly before God? You see, all of this is the way of Jesus. And are we choosing the way of Jesus that leads to a full life, or are we choosing our own way? I pray that as you prayerfully consider what I've shared here, and you read this, these verses from Romans chapter 8, that you're going to invite the Holy Spirit to give you eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from His Word. That you're going to have a receptive heart and mind to receive these truths, and then, today, you will step boldly as Christ does, with his same confidence and courage to do what the Holy Spirit prompts you to do in your prayer life for yourself and for others. I pray you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.